Hello, everybody. Really knocked us now. Do that. You're so finicky, Noctis. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV. Last episode, we were tracking a behemoth back to its lair. And now we are sneaking in to said behemoth's lair. How did they get in front of me? Pretty sure I'm already full on fire. Indeed I am. See weak to fire, is that why that was there? Is that the hint? Lots of explosive barrels, too. Detonate, detonate oil drums with fire to damage dead eye. that's supposed to be the uh why is my gear locked oh because that's the one that i had selected probably can i switch it now that was dumb. It's really not worth wasting a Fyraga on him right now. Actually hit him this time, please. Real. Why do you gotta? Why do you have to dodge? Is he running away? Cowardly little penguin he is. Wasn't even the weapon I intended to do that with. There we go. I want to just flop into a cell. Cannibal for me. It's gonna. My hands were playing a beauty today. Are we knocked? No, shit. Get off. Knocked will never knock it off. Oh, yeah, if you were in case you were wondering why that was doing so much damage, the uh, broadsword has fire imbued into it. So, basically, he was weak to the broadsword. Both mine and... Galio's. I how long 
long this can actually take us to get back. Quite a while. What is this, though? Elixir. We'll take that gladly. Those are expensive. Oh, sleepy. It is about that time. There's no sleep. Sleep is illegal. Why aren't we being attacked by demons? That is a fairly good question. I mean, I'm kind of okay with not getting attacked by demons at the moment. It's still kind of questionable. But whatever works. That. There they are. Ready for this? It's just another iron giant, though. <laughs> Nothing to kick up a fuss about. Not even that much stronger than us anymore. And he's weak to fire, too, so... Just as easily dealt with. Most there. Just a little more running. Turn this quest in and finally get access to Chocobos. safe again and we owe it all to you on behalf of the locals i give you my heartfelt thanks so about the chocobos our birds are at your disposal you can rent them anytime you like finally glad to see y'all made it back in one piece now we're slightly less poor <laughs> come on Nox. let's go for a ride If you ever run a chocobo, then whistle for your bird at any time. Summon your chocobo from the open. Rental chocobos return to the post when the period expires. If the period ends mid-ride, the chocobo will leave after you dismount. Chocobos are living, breathing birds with minds of their own. If you chocobo refuses to proceed, try hopping off and walking instead. Okay. Rent for a week at most for 350 gil. just do day for right now easy now achievement run with r2 kind of as expected kind of not as expected you know how chocobo smell really bad but it's like a good kind of bad smell if you really feel that way, they could probably use you in the stables. So circle is jump. Square is sprint. riding with you. We'll be getting back on you in just a second. That's it. 
What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Up the stuff, please. Let's go. Right. Onward we ride. <laughs> More demons popping up, but you know, we have chocobos, we don't need to care. Chocobo run on water. <laughs> they can run through it at least. Better keep up. Still quite a ways away before we can get to the Stalin. Ooh, Chocobo got to level two. Chocobo will occasionally trot in to assist Noctis in battle. Chocobo learned Dash to Chocobo. Whilst mid-fight, your trusty steed might help you flee once per battle. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What would might be a worthwhile purchase if we can do it right now? Or if we can or not. Gain AP for long trips by Chocobo, yes. I feel like we will probably be using Chocobos quite a bit. So, might as well. Get around. Get around all the trees. Trees of doom and destruction. Still quite a distance away here, though. Can I pick this up without getting off? Of it? Uh, good morning, fellas. Sun come up already. <clears throat> We've been out. Can all you? Night. I think that's our cue to call it a day. We definitely cannot. Thanks that's unfortunate. Ride. Ah, thanks, buddy. The rest of you didn't really need to get off. You need it right back on. But, you know, whatever. It's unfortunate that you have to get off to grab things, but, you know, we'll survive. Run, Chocobocolo, run! Uh, we want to stop to get that. So, no. What's with the sweltering heat around here? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. The rise in temperature is likely attributable to the astral shard. We're close. Think of how long it must have taken them to craft this world. And I mean, this game was being developed for years and years. It took them a very, very long time. And I, I can search, certainly appreciate the effort. There were some things that I feel were kind of bad decisions. But you know, it's really just like a frequency thing, and then the magic hitting your allies is just... Both of those things could very easily be edited out. They could be changed in an update if they really wanted to change them.
And personally, I do actually think it would make the games better if they made it so the Imperials attacked less frequently. Like, it's fine for them to attack you. That's not an issue. But, not multiple times in the same encounter. Like, that is complete nutter bull. You should not be trying... It, it's the same thing with the nightmare creatures. You should not be trying to fight one iron giant and then have to... And then suddenly, while you're trying to kill that one, two or three more spawn. It's like, no. That's not fair. <laughs> like, if you want to put multiples in one encounter, fine. But don't just make it so they just continuously keep spawning and the battle never ends. That's just stupid. I don't know. That's just my opinion on the matter. I think it's stupid. They apparently thought it was a great idea. Feels so sluggish. Yeah. Those are the only two things I would really change as of right now. Apparently some people don't like summons either. But I haven't gotten to the point where I have access to summons, so... I don't currently have an opinion on them. I imagine the... Leviathan might be... rather useless most of the time, since I imagine most of the time you're not anywhere near Water. I think Rama, or however you say his name, should still be pretty useful though. Even if you can only use it when you're in danger. Especially considering you have weapons that lower your health, so you could very easily end up in danger intentionally just for the sake of summoning him. And then just and then I think he heals you anyway, so... How far are we going? Got plenty of time to figure it out. Though at the same time, I don't really know... Ooh, we got to level 3. Look at those stamina and speed have increased. Good stuff. Chocoboco power. We're gonna be going, like, everywhere on Chocobos in this game now. Ooh, there is treasures. Do I want... How would I get back up here? That's the real question, isn't it? If I went down, how would I get back up? Let's see. If I can find a decent way to get down there... Having to jump? Yep, okay. I'll just go over there with the chocobo. Chocobocobo. Chocobocolina. Fall off the edge, that would be bad. I feel like I should have rented you for the full week. I have regrets. Thanks, buddy. Let's go. I can probably extend it. Probably. They don't really do sharp turns very well, do they? But they at least go where you want them to go, so they're much better than the car. Screw the car. Never using the car again. Chocobo's all the way. Especially if it continuously gets faster as I use it. Or wait, am I just totally going the wrong way now? I appear to be doing so. Indeed. 
Remember, kids, even if you're riding a chocobo, you gotta go on the right side of the road. I suppose it's the same with a bicycle. But wait, exactly. How am I supposed to get over there? Okay. Yeah, I got you. We are supposed to go this way. We're supposed to go around. There's going to be a road up ahead that we have to turn down. That I just missed earlier. Because I was having too much fun obsessing over the fact that I was riding a chocobo, finally. Though so I'm sure everybody else playing this got to the point where they could ride a chocobo in like the first two episodes or something, because they didn't wander around being obsessed with side objective. So they were level 20, what are we, 27 the before they got yeah. to chapter 3, which is likely completely unnecessary. But I wanted to be able to kill the Iron Giants, so I don't really know what to tell you. I'd like to say at least we're getting AP from all of this running, but really the, uh... Killing the Saber Claws gets AP way faster than doing this. Like, I know a lot of people are like... think that you should use the, um... the car. But the car is basically functions the same way the Chocobo does. You'd get AP at the same rate you do on the Chocobo. Crappy weather. So I, th I think what they said it was, was 1 AP and 50 experience for every 5 miles or something. And that's no, really not that great. Going 5 miles in the car takes significantly longer than going to kill those 7... Saber Claws, and you get 7 AP for that, assuming you do it right. But then, driving a car takes no skill or effort whatsoever, so I suppose that's fair from a game design perspective. Probably not even going to bother getting the car AP and EXP boost, partially because I don't want to use the car. The car is boring. I like the Chocobos. I might get the EXP up for Chocobos. Though I'm sure it's probably the same amount. We'll just get 1 AP and 50 EXP. At about the same rate, we're currently getting 1 AP. Where's the damn sun? Yeah. Rather interesting that they actually look all wet. Put a lot of effort to everything in this game. really with with how long this game was in development and how many decisions had to be made the fact that there were so few that I really feel were bad it's kind of an accomplishment like people like to focus on the bad and just kind of ignore the good in a lot of things like you'll often have somebody who will do so many good things on the regular but they screw up one time and do something wrong, and everybody flips out on them. Just like completely ignoring all of the good things they did, they'd done. And really, it's just not fair. You can't just look at how they might have screwed up two things, as far as I know currently in this game, and just say the entire game is garbage because of it. 
It's just, it's shitting on all the effort they put in to make this game. It's not fair to them. It's not to say you can't criticize it. Obviously, because I already have. And I mean, they're perfectly capable of fixing those things. I don't think it'd even be very hard. So whether or not they're going to want to acknowledge that they screwed up in some regard is kind of questionable. around a little it's up to knocked almost the there Eagles outside the city all right might be worth investing in a few servings in the event our pantry runs bare I'll put it on the list thanks for the ride Heard the wife got a promotion one hell of a crowd oh, this must be the main thoroughfare she's at the Laville let's go too hot to move or do anything else. Okay. There's been a lot of tremors lately. Damn. It's not the right button. I'll leave the chocobos. Can probably get there fairly quickly. There? Right there. Whoa! Did you feel that? You mean the earthquake? Uh, it's the first first What's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Is Bahamut gonna be the first summon we get? I thought it was gonna be Rama or Leviathan. The Leviathan might one, might be one of the last ones we get in actuality. Uh, Gladdy! Iris. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Quinn's like this. Iris is safe with me. <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. <laughs> I like it. Your Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. Prompto doing the background there, like, no child, don't go. I loved it, you. <laughs> so, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh... Thanks. Should be any more awkward, Noctis? <laughs> what? So, about Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away. But at least it means she's okay. <sighs> good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Ten bucks, she gets kidnapped. Oh no, we were forced to nap again. How cruel. What cruel and unusual punishment. Well, at least we got the 1.5 boost. It's not bad. I 
by Elixir Hunter. Poor Ignis. His ability is useful, but it's staying really low leveled. That could be a decent thumbnail, though I never really actually put any of these as thumbnails. with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. Are we gonna go on a date with Iris? Let's go, why not? <laughs> sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. It seems your patience was rewarding. Enjoy your walk and please take care. For our first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me, right this way. Should we, con should we be concerned that she has health? Very low health at that. Does she have a level? Or she shows up in the party on the side there, but she doesn't have a level or experience or anything. She does have gear, though. She has a technique. Set up a single enemy for the... <clears throat> for the <clears throat> set up a single enemy for the, for the kill with Big Brother's help. Completes tech bar by two. Interesting. He's also level 18. She has such low health. Strangely. Are there actually going to be additional party members in this game at some point? It's even more beautiful out here at night. Mm. <laughs> eh, if you say so. <laughs> this is the Partella market. You can get almost anything here. <laughs> Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. All these shops seem right up your alley. You know me so well. <laughs> so what, I get experience for acting wow. nice and look at all this AP stuff. for acting mean? I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. At least that was how I told I was told it worked. Next we're gonna see the power plant. Think I'll get something to right? Next oil sticker. I kind of wish I could more like walk beside her, but that doesn't really seem to work. Maybe if I go like. Uh, she kind of always just walks behind me, by default. Most likely so she doesn't get in the way. Yeah, see, she deliberately stopped so she could walk behind me. Might as well just run then. driving force behind Lasalm's prosperity. But get this. Only women work there. As a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town. Sounds like your kind of place. I can see you doing well here. I think so too. It's so different from home. I was surprised at first, but I like it. All right, next we're going to the Outlook. I'm 
a city girl, but I dig the rustic charm. Huh? Oh. Oh, I see. I'm a city prince. Wait, I guess I did get the rustic charm too. That's what you're into. <laughs> Items are everywhere in the city. Aiden's kiss. Foreshadowing. Sup. Whoa. The disc really is on fire. I is it safe to go near it? Oh. Fucking shop. Actually. Look at our wares. Are they the same? Ooh. Same tongue. Oh, which one do I? Play more hard edge. Or that increases vitality is forged into the blade, granting the wielder a defense boon. Great sword that cuts with the precision of a scalpel allows the wielder to destroy appendages with greater ease. I think I like the hard edge more. Rapier Lance or Ice Spear? Full arm with ice in its blade. Foes vulnerable to the cold, best beware. Um, I think I'd go with the Ice Spear, personally. Mythical Knives or Assassin's Daggers? Blades forged by Mithril, these knives enhance the wielder's magic. Blades favored by assassins and fused with venom, they may inflict poison with each strike. Seem probably go with those as well. Um, pistol. The barrel forged mithril. The gun enhances wielder's magic. Not much choice for that one. Power shield or ice shield? Shield that increases ice resistance, especially when raised, taking its ice damage greatly boosts the bear's health recovery. It's interesting. Um, probably go for the power shield for this one. I'm gonna have to come back here when I have a little bit of money. I'll see you later. Heard the wife got a promotion. Congrats. Where'd she go? Yeah, I know I should be happy, she dead? There she is. Us. Don't just randomly disappear. I'm kind of expecting you to get kidnapped. It'll be all Noctis's fault, and then Gladius will get into a fight with us. He'll be like, "Why were you on a date with my sister in the first place?" And then they'll just everybody will try and kill each other. It'll just not be a wonderful time, and we get a magic class randomly, so that's cool. Hop, no hop. The hops were denied. I shop here all the time. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Huh. I totally pretend to care, but don't really. Because I'm a no prince. Imagine taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. He sounds so disinterested. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're already at 40 minutes, so I should probably cut, but I don't feel like doing so, so we're not gonna. Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look, there's the meteor. You know, Noct, this almost feels like a date. Hmm. Why not? If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> well, we better keep it quiet then. And besides, you already have Lady Luna Freya. The others are probably back at the hotel by now. Let's join them. Eternal running. Brandy. <sighs> the breeze feels so good. <sighs> I 
All right, let's go get beat up by your, by your brother. Let's see if the others are back. <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks, Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. Anyway, the thing I bought today, it's for you. But it's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Hey, look who's back. Talkit, go on and tell him what you told me. You got it. Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. So, there's this legend about a sword, and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. Check it out. Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talkit. You are welcome. How much does it cost to stay a night here? Curiosity. Oh, greetings. Will you be staying with us? As expected, more or less. We look forward to serving you next time. Galio doesn't have a comment. He's going on a date with his sister. It felt like it. Not allowed to jump in here. I'm Iris. Does she evaporate? Girls do that, you know. They'll just randomly evaporate. Oh no, there she is. This sounds dangerous. Will the four of you be all right? No, we're all gonna die. All of us will be dead. Except for me. It's your brother, for sure. He's definitely gonna die. Well, maybe not. He might survive. He's kind of the only one that's wildly competent. Prompto, though, definitely gonna die. Hope you're not attached to him at all. How do I get back so the there? Shakes, your brain aches. Yeah, a sort of seismic shock to the system. Curious. Curious is as curious does. Too hot to move or do anything else. Ravito is a proper mountain. Okay, so literally all he did was just look. Excuse me, but you're a hunter, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. You see, Gramps is seeking to secure new supply channels for merchandise. Uh, supply channels? Okay. To that end, we'd negotiated a deal with your fellow hunter, but he went silent on us. Maybe he got cold feet, maybe he's a cold corpse. If you meet him, could you ask him if the deal's still on? Okay. I suppose we can do that. No big deal. Excuse me, random penguins. Certainly not your average little boy. A little bit too much brass for that. That's how I imagine you used to be, Iggy. I wasn't, I assure you. Sure, the quest. There we go. Hey boys, I have a job for rough and ready sorts like you and yours. Uh, Clearly, we are a boy band. We are a boy band. Busy. I'd like you to head over to my farm and bring back some produce. Was about to send a request to Hunter HQ when you showed up. <laughs> Thought I'd try my luck with you first. You can get the details at the farm. Thanks in advance. I don't know what is wrong with these people. Acting like we're a group of hunters. We are very clearly a Korean boy band, okay? Honestly. brother you're a hunter right and you drive all over the place yeah what about it well i have a little favor to ask if you see a delivery van abandoned along the road would you mind retrieving the cargo for me the vehicle was attacked by monsters you see and the driver had to ditch it The disc really is on fire. It, is it? An ebony sticker. Well 
welcome, welcome. What do you got, bro? It's a jungle out there. Both beasts and demons making a nuisance of themselves. Avenge the anglers. Ruler of the brave skies, a griffin. Off with their heads, or Guddle. Give a lightning crest. Mega Phoenix and Mega Mixer. Disquieted queens, killer queens. You like something? There's more where it came from. Awful stew. Increase magic by 200. Accelerate HP recovery by 75. Icy skewers. 7200 gil. Increase damage dealt based on the level difference between the party and enemies. Huh. Attack boost level 35. Increase attack by 350. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty decent chunk there. Increase maximum HP by 1000. Well, I suppose you are paying quite a bit of money for it. Come back anytime you like. Okay, but either way, we are past 47 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And in the next episode, we will go do some of these quests. But which ones specifically, I'm not sure. Either way, I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.